retopolizing a mesh. So retopology generates a brand new clean topology based on our original mesh and it will produce it with uniform quads. So all the polygons will be the same exact size. You can see here that I have a lot of small uh, different meshes and up here in the horn I have one huge polygon. So I want to be able to go back in and retopologize everything so that everything is a standard size mesh. And so we're going to go up and we're going to go to our mesh and I'm going to come down to retopologize and I want to say new operation. We'll get this dialog box here, okay? And this dialog box, uh, we, we can give it a name, you know, like, uh, you know, change the bowl or whatever, retopo bowl or whatever. We can uh, set some of these uh, sizes, but at this point, I just want to go with the defaults. And I'm going to skip the curves. We'll do this in another layer. But what do we want to transfer to the new mesh? So anything that's sculpted, oh, yes, we do. I do want to copy over any sculpted layers. I don't want to lose those. My paint layers I haven't painted yet, but if I do, uh, the new mesh will be a P-Tex. Any curves that I have, I don't have any, but sometimes you want to carry those over. And if you already posed, you want that over. And any freezing information, you want to bring that over. Since I don't have any of these, I'm going to uncheck them at the moment. Now, right now, the symmetry is not required. That if I ran it like this, um, Mudbox would not allow us to do any sculpting or painting symmetry. It would lose that. So I typically want to go based on an axis. And it says mirror left to right. Or, so everything that's on um, the left side will be mirrored to the right side. You see I got this horn changed up here on the right. So I want to go mirror the right to the left okay so so anything that's on the right and you can see I have my check mark over here is my right side I want to mirror that over onto my left so at this point I can just hit retopolize when I do this you're gonna see down here that it's gonna move on a on a bar down here on the slider bar it's gonna take some time depending on the complexity of your model. Uh, that's why I chose a very simple, simple model here, uh, because a complex model will take quite a long time. So what it's going to do is it's going to recalculate, and it's going to redistribute all of our uh, polygons so they're nice and even across our model. And so we typically might want to do this near the end. And so you'll notice now that it's done it's come in here and notice how everything is all the same size polygons they don't have a whole tight mesh in here don't have the big ones up here much anymore um, it's mirrored back back and forth so i have now symmetry um, so at this point i can go ahead and continue working at this point but this will kind of clean things up and put our mesh back more as the beginning of where we started. So this is just the basic retopolizing. We can use uh, some curves to guide a retopo. We'll do that in our next video. But this is just the basics level of retopolizing our mesh.